This is a short video on geometry interior angles. Here we have two parallel lines which are cut by a transversal. We've already spoken about how the transversal creates corresponding angles. For example, this angle here and this angle here are corresponding. We've also spoken about how the transversal angle creates alternate angles. For example, this angle here and this angle here are alternate angles. But the transversal also creates interior angles. The angles that are shaded are an example of a pair of interior angles. On closer inspection, we can see that the interior angles are not equal. You can see this one, for example, is acute, while this one is obtuse. So if they're not equal, then what rule might be involved, do you think, with interior angles? Well, interior angles add to make 180 degrees. So these two angles, shade and pink, when added together, make 180. There's another pair of interior angles in this diagram also. Where do you think they might be? The angles shaded on the left of the diagram in green are also interior angles. And these two green angles add up to make 180 degrees. Why do you think this rule is called interior angles? Well, it's because interior angles are in between the two parallel lines. They're inside the parallel lines. And it's just important to note that interior angles are always on the same side of the transversal as each other. So here's an example. I've got two parallel lines of the transversal. I'm going to tell you that this angle is 51 degrees and I'd like to find the size of the angle A. Pause the video here and see if you can calculate this yourself. I can say that 51 plus A equals to 180. And the reason for this is because 51 and A are interior angles. I can find the value of A by then subtracting 51 from 180. So A equals to 129 degrees.